U.S. offered Ukraine to give 20% of its territory to Russia. Reports that the U.S. allegedly offered a plan involving territorial concessions from Ukraine in, in exchange for peace are just plain false, Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov said. That's a canard. The Kremlin spokesman said on Friday when asked to comment on media reports that Central Intelligence Agency Director William Burns allegedly passed on such a proposal to Moscow. When responding to a question clarifying whether Burns actually came to Moscow in January to meet with Russian President Vladimir Putin, Peskov of stress. In January, all this news about the US plan is a canard. Earlier, the Swiss newspaper Neue Zaga Zeitung quoted its sources as saying that the US President Joe Biden instructed the CIA chief to find out whether Russia and Ukraine were ready for negotiations. According to the newspaper, Washington offered the Ukrainians to give up 20% of their territory in exchange for peace, but Moscow and Kiev were allegedly not satisfied with such an option. The White House called these allegations groundless. Newsweek magazine quoted Sean Dan- it, the deputy spokesperson at the White House's National Security Council is saying that the information published in the Swiss newspaper was not accurate. In turn, an unnamed CIA official said that reports of Burns allegedly visiting Moscow in January at the request of the White House with a proposal for a peace settlement were completely false. Much of Ukraine agrees with Zelensky on not giving up land in exchange for peace. So Ukraine will not give up any of its territories in return for a peace deal with Russia amid the war. But the fate of the Russian seized Ukrainian territory of Crimea may soon become a point of divergence between Ukraine and its Western allies. Ukraine's November recapture of the southern territory of Kherson puts Ukraine within range, both in terms of geography and momentum, of the strategic pathway into Crimea, posing a dilemma for Western policymakers. While Ukraine still has battles to fight, the West may soon have to decide whether it would support a coming Ukrainian assault on Crimea or insist Ukraine count its blessings and settle for the return of only the territory Russia has captured since its invasion of February 2022.